If you've been having weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks of really good solid training blocks, it's probably time that you might have to rest to recover. Say hi everyone. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back. Another vlog, another week in the Morris Method household. Yaya, Zara, little one here is uh it's her first real hike she's been on a couple of little Good. little ones where we just hold on to her but this is the first time that she's been put in the hiking bag uh, she's almost one well time flies not that you'll know that yaya until you're a bit older we have another another older kid named tamish um he is a bit over three and he's much heavier anyway like significantly heavier she's like weighs nothing um feel very very <laughs> feel extra fit today uh with the lack of weight this little girl is just a little patini aren't you hey <sighs> so we're still in lockdown sydney lockdown 2021 it is august and we are in our local 10 kilometers from house, from our radius that we're allowed to be in. Just heading out to the Gross River and we'll see what sort of views that we can get. Trying to stay active within these times is always a bit of a challenge. Sometimes you can get a bit dippy downer-ish. Nothing, a bit of outside air and some goals to kick you out of that little slump that sometimes you can find yourself in. Anyway guys, hope you enjoy the video. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and uh, yeah. Let's get into it. Good morning. Good morning. We are just about to head out to the park at Richmond, aren't we Hamish? Yeah. And we're gonna have a little bit of a play. We're gonna go get a coffee, sit in the sun. And what's Friday? Do you remember what Friday is? Cookie. Cookie day. So every Friday, Hamish and I make cookies since lockdown started. fruit shop to grab some veggies for dinner tonight and the boys are currently hmm, removing trees from the backyard or hacking at trees so you'll see that in a minute um, so yeah let's hope that we still have somewhat of a backyard when we get back After three and a half hours of training today, that's just finished me off. <laughs> it was honestly so hard. It was definitely not easy. Yeah, right. So we've managed to break the the axe is gone. It snapped, and that's that's snapped now too. You can see that. Yeah. So, like everyone in COVID days, we have to go to Bunnings. Going for a bike ride. Let's do it. 
So we're giving giving up on the wood chopping, aren't we? Yeah. On the plant cutting out. <laughs> let's, let's go for a ride. <laughs> Riding's much easier, isn't it, buddy? Yeah. <laughs> Especially before we have to get to Bunnings. Well, we got to go to Bunnings tomorrow so we can get new a new mattock and a new axe. Yep. All right, you ready to go? Tell you what, this is one of my absolute most favourite things to do is take the kids for a hike. Doesn't need to be complicated, doesn't need to be long, just a bit of sun on the skin. Not too much obviously. Oh, but it's just so good. And it's been amazing actually watching Hamish kind of get into it and be active and want to do things all the time um, purely just by I think us just doing it without forcing him to do it as well like that's a big thing that Nicole and I say to each other and make sure that we're not pushing Hamish and Zara or particularly Hamish Zara's a bit young um, into doing things just because we want to do it you know but if we lead by example if we make it fun it's uh yeah it's probably something that he's gonna enjoy and remember for quite some quite some time you know like i know when i was a kid dad taking me hiking us going camping and things like those are the memories that i have of uh growing up not i don't know buying this thing buying that thing dad always away for work or whatever it may be like it's fantastic that i get to be with the kids so much and maybe that's a silver lining for covid maybe that's something that people are experiencing that like you have to think outside the box within your local area come up with something to keep yourself active to keep your kids active you know rather than just be sitting at home watching tv if it's you know if it's raining put the put the rain jackets on <laughs> it's a bit of rain there's nothing wrong with getting wet and getting dirty you can soon have a shower now whether they keep it up as they get older that's purely up to them everyone is their own person um but at least i think it sets them up with just a chance to be active without it being forced down their throat. Nick and I being fitness professionals, coaches, programmers, you might probably think that we kind of force our kids to be active, but it's only purely because that's what we're doing and the kids kind of come along for the ride and they seem to have a lot of fun doing it. Just literally yesterday, Hamish uh, bike ride. Now he's on a, on a balance bike, so there's no wheels, sorry, there's no pedals but uh, four kilometers. And that was him like saying, dad, let's go one more. Let's go one more. It's just pretty crazy how three year old can be so fit. COVID is definitely a time to like work on those things. I reckon this is the best time to double down on what your goals are, on what you need to do with your nutrition. Like there's an excuse that you could use with lockdown because you're down in the dumps, all those sorts of things. But then there's also excuses when you go back to work or when you go back to the real world scenario, if that ever happens. Um, there's excuses every time. You can come up with reasons not to do things all the time. So, you know, this is the best, I think this is the best time to double down on things like your diet, on things like your sleep, on your routine. You know, what are the things that make you feel good? 
typically it's good food, good sleep, good sex, good training or good movement. I think COVID's a chance to actually double down on that. I had, um, I've had a couple of clients kind of ask me going, you know, what are you going to do? Like all the events are closed, all the events are canceled, blah, blah, blah. Like, you know, what do you, what do you propose that you're going to do? Well, my things don't change, right? Like, yeah, maybe the locality of my goals change because I can only go 10 kilometers or some clients can only go five kilometers within their, like their radius, but you can do a lot and you can achieve a lot just by doing that. It's really your mindset that's, um, that seems to be the challenge at the moment. Like, I don't need to have an event to run 50 Ks or run 100 kilometers or test my physical performance. I don't need to have access to a gym. I don't need to have access to normal life routine to be lean, to work on my health, to lose some weight. Like, you just don't need it. But sometimes we get in our way thinking like, oh, well, the event's off, so you know what? Can't really motivate myself to do it. But maybe we've got to go back to the core reasons as to why we want to do things. And for me, like pushing my physical capabilities, why I head out for these big long runs and adventures and things, is to see what my training is doing to make sure that I've always got something to move towards. And you know, Tony Robbins says, progress makes you happy or something like that. You know, as long as you're in a state of progression, no matter how big or how small that progression is, that person will feel happy. That person will feel contentment. And I think, you know, I live by that. I wanna be moving forward. Just things change and you've got to adapt. So we've got a whole bunch of clients who are, we're gonna do the Oxfam. Oxfam is now canceled. So. Goalpost has changed, we maneuver, we adjust, and then as soon as we can create our own ox fam, <laughs> we go out and do it. You know, like, I, I love that about endurance, right? It's like, you never know if you could actually do it until you've done it. I know there's a few uh, clients that are obsessed like me who just wanna keep doing this sort of stuff, and then there's a few who wanna get into it, who want to see what they're physically capable of, and you don't have to wait for an event. You don't have to wait for it to be on because we could be waiting forever. But you could still double down and get it done. Sure, it won't be the same. It won't be the same atmosphere because everyone knows having an event is just a magical atmosphere. But we don't want to kind of think about that too much because you can get bogged down in it. Lots to do. And I'm sure plenty of you are realizing that that are getting out and about. A little bit of, a little bit of motivation talk for Yaya's and I hike. <laughs> <laughs> I dad 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 You say dad 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 Where are we going to go? We'll go over this way? Go check what we're doing. 20 minutes on the bike, 20 minutes running weights, 20 minutes on the bike, 20 minutes running weights. Let's go. High five. Twenty minutes bike riding, twenty minutes running slash weights, two rounds each. So it was about a what was that? Eighty minute workout for both Nick and I, which is yeah. awesome. Well, you had a good sleep, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. What should we do this afternoon? See Keep. Travis. You want to see Travis? Want to see your best mate? Do you? Hey. Yeah. Yes. We're gonna get some more yuckers out. Yeah. Yeah. We might go for a bike ride, what do you think? Yeah. Lots to do, that's for sure. 
All right, guys, that brings us to an end. Morris Method vlog, hoping you enjoyed this one. So I'm gonna leave you with this, is that actually this week I trained the least amount of training sessions that I've done for quite some time. Um, I got blindsided by my own body and uh, it was actually kind of a nice experience to, to, to experience again. What happened? Well, I took a rest week, a full rest week. Now, I am big on planning in mesocycle rest week. So, you know, after a kind of a block of training or maybe a couple of blocks of training, I'll either give a micro rest or a full week rest. Anyway, this I hadn't actually planned to do, but I kind of tried to get into training and I was like, oh, I was really digging into this motivational tank to, to, to motivate myself to train and like to be, you know, come on, get out there and do the training session and all those sorts of things anyway. I just wasn't feeling it. So rather than kicking myself up the butt and saying, come on, what's wrong with you? I took a week off and I got back to training. As you've seen, I obviously was training towards the end of the week. Um, I felt absolutely amazing. It just reinforces that the body knows best. Three prerequisites that I say to clients um, when they're looking at whether they, whether they should be training or not, okay? And um, the third one was actually the one that tickled my kind of wonder what's going on here. One is you have to have a desire to train. And from last Friday's effort long form training session that I did where I busted my ankle a little bit, it was still end up being, it was still six and a half hours long. So it still was quite a little, uh, quite an adventure, but I was tired and I had no desire to do it whatsoever. So rather than trying to push myself and force myself to do something, I thought, you know what? I'm gonna take a full week. Anyway, got back out there on Friday and smashed out like four hours of training, came came back and did another training session. Saturday's been good, today is Sunday. Gonna take it pretty chilled, but I feel heaps better. A lot of people when they have training goals always tend to just think that you've always gotta be training and I just, it just, just reinforces all the good stuff happens when you rest after your training, it's particularly if you've been having weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks of really good solid training blocks, it's probably time that you might have to rest to recover. Anyway, that's a food for thought before I get out of here. Hoping you enjoyed this vlog. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Do that now for me. Smash that subscribe button. Otherwise, guys, I will get another one out to you next week. I will see you all here soon. Bye.